Hi, my name is Meredith. I'm from the University of Adelaide and today we're going to be looking at Metaverse. It's an augmented reality creator. It's predominantly free. There are some professional features, but today I'm going to show you this online tool. Before introducing Metaverse to your students, you should introduce them to planning and the logic around structuring an online experience. It's a little bit like a choose your own adventure. You start on page one, welcome to Australia, and if I click beaches, where do I go? If I click food, what page do I go to? It may help to read a simple choose your own adventure or pick a path book to introduce that concept to your students. The first thing you would do is print this A4 page that will be linked below the video. Ask them to cut out the screens. Once they've cut out the screens, they then have tangible pieces that they can move around like a puzzle. And we're going to sequence the screens in order that they should appear. To work out the order, students need to look at the buttons and the labels on those buttons. The text at the top might also help. So ask the students, which of these pictures do you think comes first? When they have Welcome to Australia first, we'll look at beaches. Where is beaches going to link to? And that will take you to the Bondi Beach image. When they're at the Bondi Beach image, where does the home button go? That's going to link back to the welcome screen. Where will food go? Food could have one of two images. But if you look very carefully, only one of those images links to the Vegemite. Lamington is the only screen with a Vegemite button. So Lamington's must come next. When you click on the Lamington screen, if I click on Home, it will take me back to the Welcome screen. If I click on Vegemite, it's going to take me to the Vegemite screen. The Vegemite screen has two buttons, Home, back to the welcome screen, or Bondi Beach, which will take me over to the Bondi screen, which then again gives me the option to go home. Give the students this page, ask them to cut it out, and get them to stick it in their book. It should look something like this. Once you've done that, the students need to think about planning their own AR experience. On this experience, the students will plan their own highlights of their own country or topic. They need to think about pictures that they're going to need, that they will need to find online and store in a folder. They might find pictures of the flag, food, culture, animals, places to visit. They then need to link them on different screens. I would at this stage set a maximum of six to eight screens. Some students might only manage three or four. Be guided by your student's ability and their age. Once students have planned out their screens and linked them with arrows, you can then introduce the Metaverse platform. To introduce the Metaverse platform, you need to ensure you're on the Metaverse homepage. The URL is studio.gometa.io. You also need to have the app downloaded on your phone or iPad if you wish to experience this on a tablet. You can do that using the links here. Make sure you investigate the Metaverse tutorials. There's lots of information and lots of how-tos to use all the additional features that aren't explained in this video. This is a free platform, however there is a professional version which allows you to do more with collections. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Create Experience. It starts with one scene. I give my experience a name. When I click on my first scene, you can see over on the right hand side, I get a whole lot of different options. These options change depending what I've actually clicked on. So I'm going to reproduce the four screens that were in my unplugged experience. So the first thing I said was Welcome to Australia. I added an image by clicking on the circle and I searched for Australia. Choose any one of those. I chose the rotating button. We also need to have three buttons. 
click on the translucent rectangle and once that button is selected it has text on the right I had another button for food and I had another button for the end of the experience I'm now going to add my Bondi Beach experience I click on add new I'm going to choose character scene we are only using the character scene this time if you'd like to know more about the other scenes or the blocks you'll need to watch the inbuilt tutorials on the first page it duplicates the previous window so I don't want that button anymore so I'm going to click on the bin this is going to be for Bondi Beach the first thing you need to do is ensure you have the pictures that you want I'm going to just do a quick search on Bondi Beach I'm going to images if you click on tools you can then choose usage rights creative commons licenses this will allow free use of my images for educational purposes the image that I chose was the commons.wikipedia.org image feel free to choose any of your own once you've done that save it to your computer so that you can upload it into metaverse so I'm going back to my metaverse I'm going to click on the circle I'm going to search for Bondi if you can't see an image there that you want to add you click on add character click on upload and search for the images that you want give it a name tag it with searchable terms and save that if you have chosen Creative Commons or it is your own personal picture that you are happy to share with the community you can flip that tag there click on use and then type something about the image I need to link my Bondi Beach button on the home screen to my scene 2 my Bondi Beach information click on the triangle beside Bondi Beach go over to your settings transition to scene is selected you can either choose the scene from the menu or you can click on the finger and then click on the scene that you want to link to I'm going to create two buttons on here one to go home and one to go to the food click on my triangle for home and link back to the home screen I'm going to add another scene move it down underneath so I can group my like images together delete one there I'm going to add Lamington's once again this is an image I added before you will need to click on add character and upload your own image I'm going to add two buttons one to take me home and one to Vegemite I need to link my food button to my Lamington page and I need to link my home button to my welcome screen I'm going to add another scene I need to delete that image and I need to add my Vegemite add two buttons this one's going to take me home this one is going to take me to Bondi Beach I've got lots of red triangles there I need to finish linking up my scenes so Vegemite is going to go to Vegemite click on the red triangle click on the finger click on my scene home button will take me back to my welcome screen Bondi Beach will take me to my Bondi Beach scene the food button I want to take me to the Lamington scene and end to use the end function this will close the experience so when I click on the end button instead of transition to scene I want to end the experience so now you can see all of the screens are linked together you need to ensure there are no red triangles and that all the scenes are linked to the correct location you can test this you'll need a mobile phone or a tablet to do that you click on the test button scan the QR code or share the URL and then you can test it's very important that you express to the students that they must test their experience if it doesn't work they need to come back and troubleshoot the links 
troubleshoot their buttons, make sure that they've correctly linked all the buttons to all the correct scenes. I would recommend that you make one yourself before you teach this to the students so that you know what you're doing and keep it simple the first time. Just use one type of scene just as I have here. Once you have finished, make sure you've got a name up in the top corner and click on publish. Now when you click on publish, you can put a description. Advanced allows you to specify who can see your experience. Unlisted is probably the ideal for school students. You need to express to students not to put images of themselves in these AR experiences, only use pictures that can be used for Creative Commons. Allowing cloning is a useful tool. What that means is someone else can take your experience and duplicate it to make their own. You might also modify the colour, you might choose blue, and then click on publish. I can now share this through my social media or I can copy the link and publish the link. To get a picture of your QR code, you might take a screen capture or take a photo of it on your camera and then you can print that QR code so that you can use it to trigger your experience. If you've got any questions, you can tweet me on imerinet, you can contact Caesar Adelaide on Twitter, Facebook or on our webpage.